your friend told me that you have a problem. They said you don't know how to use more pumpkin pie spice this autumn season. So I thought I would, you know, make this video for you. Hey friend, welcome to Chrysalis Chats. You're one stop for seven day a week. That's every single day. Vegan inspiration and how to's. My name is Tanya and like a caterpillar to a butterfly, I help people metamorphosize their diets and lifestyles to be plant-based. Thanks for joining me today. In three minutes or under, we're gonna be talking about how to use pumpkin pie spice in your diet this autumn. And every single day this week, you get another option in another video. With that said, let's get into it. Today, I recommend you consider using pumpkin pie spice in soup. And you might be like, Tanya, what? Is it like pumpkin pie soup? And I'm gonna be like, well, kinda, but it's also kinda savory. It's sweet and savory at the same time. Bum, 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 mind blown, and that's totally okay. <laughs> How do you do this? I'm so glad you asked. The first thing you want to do is use your squash, whatever you have available. You can use squash in combination with pumpkin. That's what I recommend. I love using butternut squash or even acorn squash in conjunction. Just cut these puppies in half, roast them at around 350 to 400 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Totally depends on how hard your squash is. That sounded wrong, but we're not talking like that. Not on Chrysalis Chats. So this is a kid-friendly show. <laughs> so then you will go ahead and make sure that you have your puree scooped out and cooled off before you put it in a blender. That's when the magic happens. You add the coconut milk from a can or whatever milk you choose, as long as it's unsweetened and doesn't have any vanilla in it because we're going for a sweet and savory after all. Your sweetness in this recipe is coming from the pumpkin. By the way, you can get the recipe for this on my website, link down below in the description box at chrysalisandcocoon.com. The next thing you're gonna do after you add your milk is add your spices to the blender, including pumpkin pie spice and of course black pepper that's going to help make sure this is really savory and super duper yummy okay then you're going to add your oil to that and put the lid on it and blend it blend it you can also get creative and add some leeks or onions if you're feeling like you especially want that even roasted garlic would be divine in this recipe so with that said friends i do hope you enjoy it thank you so much for liking this video watching all the vids this week and subscribing to this channel because I really appreciate that. Also leave a comment down below letting us know how you like to use pumpkin pie spice in your autumn dishes. Maybe it's something that I didn't say this week or won't be saying this week and we would love to hear it. Whether you're just starting off as a tiny little caterpillar like where are the leaves at? Or you're a full-fledged butterfly sipping the nectar of a plant-based diet, you my friend are awesome. Have a blessed day.